Tax season, it's in full swing. I know the deadline is quickly approaching and this morning we want to make sure your filing goes smoothly. That means not falling for scams. Amy Razor, Fort Worth Regional Director of the Better Business Bureau joins me with tips on protecting yourself from tax scams that are seeing a lot of this year. Good morning, Amy. How are you? Good morning, Jane. Great. How are you? Okay, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to guess that tax scams are like crazy prevalent this year. Is that the case? And how much is it costing us? Absolutely. You know, last year we saw more than 50,000 Texas uh, residents reporting tax scams. So 50,000 in, in just the first three, three quarters of last year. And then the IRS reports that consumers lost over 1.6 billion, billion with a B uh, last year. So definitely something that we're keeping an eye out for. Okay, we have some things for our viewers to look out for. You say the number one type of scam is called an imposter scam. What is it? So that is someone uh, pretending being an imposter of the IRS. Uh, and so that's going to be uh, phone calls and logos. And uh, the most important thing here to know is everything the IRS will not do. <laughs> and that is demand payment, a specific payment method, threaten any kind of police or law enforcement. Uh, they won't call you. Uh, they won't email you. So the IRS is only going to mail you. I've gotten one of those, hello, this is the IRS calls before. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, right, the IRS is calling me. Don't Not believe it. Not. Okay. You, another one is a ghost preparer. What is that? So a ghost preparer is someone who uh, advertises themselves as, as a professional tax service. Uh, they're often going to offer you a, a significant return or even a promised amount. Um, however, they refuse to sign off or conveniently forget to sign off on the return they're submitting on behalf of their client. Okay, I mentioned the phone call a moment ago. You know, I mean, it can be scary. You're like, oh my gosh, is this the IRS? But you say unsolicited phone calls or strange email addresses, don't answer them. Right, they, they are not going to contact you in that way. Uh, the IRS will only mail you. Okay, one thing you say to look for is a, what you call a valid preparer tax identification number. What is that for viewers and where do you find it? So this is the, the, the number that is required for tax preparers to have. Um, they are re required to use it when signing off on the return. So you just wanna ask to see their number and verify it uh, before you choose to do business with that tax preparer. Okay, and uh, one thing that's really convenient for people is you guys, the Better Business Bureau, you've got a website and you've got some professionals on your website that you recommend, is that right? Yes, you can go on bbb.org and look for tax preparers and you will see accredited businesses there. Uh, you can also check irs.gov slash tax professionals. All right, do you have your taxes done yet, Amy? I do not. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Amy. Great to see you this Thank morning. You. Thanks for the tips. Appreciate it. You too.